Hello fellow tankers, this is Dauntless, and welcome to Scout Guide. For this episode, I'll be showing you guys the best way to spot on the map Mines. Now Mines is kind of a tricky map because of its small size. You'll be competing with your medium tanks and your heavy tanks and even your tank destroyers to get spots sometimes, as a lot of vehicles like to push up into the middle of the map here, and their view range easily extends to the other side of the base, and... Unfortunately, you know, this just limits the amount of spotting that you're able to do and thus this damage that you can farm. Now, there is one location that I like to take when I'm in a light tank on the northern base, and I'll be showing you that right now. Um, the location is down the one line, and there's a string of bushes right down the two line here, right along these rocks. And if you take the most forward bush um, along this string of rocks, you'll be able to extend your view range upwards into the enemy base as well as things that are trying to cross over and if you're in a quick tank like the t49 you'll be able to get up here rather quickly and try to catch things as they push across now depending on your allies you'll um they'll be able to back you up and maybe take some shots as well if they're up far enough as well as your artillery and if you're thinking it's safe enough to sneak a shot in, just make sure you're unlit when you peek out, you'll be able to actually do some damage as well. And if you go for track shots, it leaves more opportunity for your allies to shoot um, whatever you spot. Um, this location, you can actually sit here for quite a bit. The only counter to this location is if something pops out right here, but if you have good enough camouflage, they're far enough away to where you won't get lit, and your allies, if they push up on down the one line with you will be able to support you and also if you push forward enough here you'll be able to extend your view range up into this area here where tank destroyers um, notoriously sit and other areas uh, you can see where the view range extends quite far and once you've exhausted that location and you think okay I'm not going to really spot anything it is okay to push up further and when you push up further it is a little bit aggressive but depending on how careful you are you can actually get away with a lot over here um, you want to ultimately get yourself all the way up into this corner and by doing so you're going to be able to get shots at anything that's sitting on the back side of this base as well as try to get spots. Now ultimately your goal is to infiltrate into the back of the base and be a distraction as well as getting spots and being able to do some damage to the enemy team. Now this doesn't always work out depending on what the enemy has towards you. Sometimes you will get light tanks like this that try to rush you and Again, depending on your skill level and the enemy's skill level, it might be really, really hard to stay alive in this location. But you are relatively safe as long as you kind of stay down here in this little hole. Um, a lot of the time artillery won't bother with you and you can have a lot of fun trolling. And again, once you're in this position, it's relatively easy to farm um, enemy vehicles that are sitting up in here and ultimately once you're done with this position and once you've cleared out everything that's up into this area your allies will take command of the hill this will allow you to push around the corner to where this artillery is and ultimately flush enemies out here now this bush is a great location you can sit in as you can see you have double bush so there are two bushes between you and the enemy, meaning even if you sit here and just keep shooting, most likely these trees are going to protect you from being lit. And if you sit here, you can just farm uh, enemies that are just completely busy facing off with what's on the hill. And this is a beautiful thing because you can just, you know, it's a light tank stream to be able to shoot tanks on the side because you do have relatively low pen and then also not get lit, which is amazing. Now, again, you can sit here for as long as you want. There's really no rush unless the enemy is putting pressure on you. But once you've exhausted this location, it's okay to push forward. And what you want to do is you don't want to be too aggressive, but ultimately you want to flush out these tank destroyers for your allies. Now, you do have to be careful, but the idea is to bait them. And when they come around the corner, hopefully your allies will be able to just take advantage and get you that good spotting damage. All right, so let's talk about an alternative location that you can push to when you are on the northern base. Now, again, you can take the hill if you want to. It is a risk, and I recommend not taking the hill if the enemy has any light tanks or medium tanks because this is just an invitation to be killed very early, and ultimately you want to do well in your light tanks. I like taking this position here because it gives you really good opportunities to shoot at anything that might be possibly trying to take the hill and it also allows you to be really sneaky and actually extend your view range as you can see all the way back to the enemy's base and if you peek out once in a while you can actually get spots for your artillery now this location is great especially if you have nothing really pushing the hill because these enemies right here are hiding behind this rock and a lot of the time they won't be lit 
I like to drive out sideways towards this bush right here because there's actually a little bit of a hill and you won't be exposing as much of your tank to the enemy if you do this correctly, especially with a tank with a good turret like the Chinese light tanks or the medium tanks, you can really abuse this location. Now, on this lineup, there are no artillery, but a lot of the time, as you can see, you know, they'll get unlit, and as you peek out, you'll be able to spot them, and artillery will, will love you for it, and you'll get lots and lots of assist damage if you play this location right. Um, eventually, if you clear out everything here, you can easily take the hill um, by driving around this rock and kind of going up here. You don't want to drive straight up, and if the enemy, for some reason, puts pressure on you and takes the hill eventually, and you're getting shot at, you can easily back off and drive down this way, kind of like this T-49 is doing and easily make your way back up to the base to where there is a bush right on the other side of this rock where you can sit and keep lighting for your tank destroyers that are sitting back and alternatively you can go towards the island and try your luck over there. Alright, let's talk about what to do when you spawn on the southern base in a light tank. Now I have to apologize, my light tank replays that I've saved for this map I had a really good one, but unfortunately I can't get it to play because my game has been patched since and for some reason um, the game uh, client will not let me open up the game file. So, but you know, this will have to do. This is a replay from another player, but I found it on Watt Replays and it'll kind of do the job. So ultimately what you want to do is sit in this bush here. Now you don't want to take it in the way that this player took it. You want to swing around wide, if you can, come up along this rock and drive straight into this bush. Now the beauty of sitting in that bush is anything that drives down this way you'll be able to spot and anything that drives along this way you'll be able to spot. And if you sit there long enough, remember don't shoot. Um, your tank destroyers that are sitting back here will easily be able to support you as well as artillery and it's not not typical to farm like you know two three thousand damage from this position if you play it right but patience is key guys and when you think that you know you can use xvm here and realize okay what players have been lit what players haven't been lit what players could potentially be in this location and after you think you've exhausted this location it's okay to move forward so when you do eventually move forward, this rock is a great place to uh, move into. You gotta be careful because sometimes vehicles that might be sitting down in this area here um, will be able to spot you, but ultimately you wanna kinda drive around this position really sneakily and try to get into this bush because you don't wanna just YOLO out because there could be light tanks or other things sitting in this area. And the second you get lit here, you are completely screwed because usually there are always multiple tank destroyers sitting here. But the goal when your enemy or when your ally team has control of this area is to light tank destroyers that are camping here because this is where your bread and butter is. You can light things in this area, you're going to get a lot of spotting damage and assist damage and it's amazing if you do it right. But again, surviving is the key and getting down to this rock is ultimately what you want to do. Now, you want to be patient, you want to wait for your opportunity and when you find it and you realize, okay, there's really nothing that's going to uh, shoot me here, swing wide kind of like this, and get yourself into this bush. Now, I typically like to take the left side like this player is here um, because it just allows you to get a little bit closer. And again, try not to shoot your gun because you get yourself lit and it's really not worth it um, because the amount of spotting damage that you can do here is incredible, especially if you have tank destroyers sitting behind you as well as on this hill. And as you can see, you're able to extend your V-range all the way and if the tank destroyers fire or move, they're going to get themselves lit and you can just get a tremendous amount of spotting damage if you play this location correctly. And it's really just a lot of fun to see your assist damage go up as these guys just run around and panic as they're taking damage from your allies. Alright, so the alternative to the southern base is to actually take the hill. Now this is something that you really don't want to do unless you're a higher tier light tank. You don't want to take the hill if you're, let's say, in a tier 10 game in a tier 8 light tank. If you're, you know, second to bottom or at the very top, then I would recommend coming up here because that just means that you have the capacity to brawl with anything that might contest you up on the hill. If you come up here in a tier 8 light tank and you face off with a T-62A or something, you're just going to be absolutely screwed. So you want to at least make sure that you're a higher tier um, in terms of the matchup before you do uh, what this replay is showing. Now, you want to kind of take this location here. Um, you don't want to be over in this area here because you're just asking for trouble. You can easily get yourself killed. This location is relatively safe as long as they don't have heavy tanks pushing around this corner. And this bush right here, as long as you're double bushed like this, you won't be able to get lit 
Um, usually, sometimes the, ally, the enemies will be able to spot you if you're not careful. But ultimately, what you want to do is just use this bush, push forward, spot what you can. Um, once you spot, you can stay there and just keep spotting if you want to, but then you can also fall back. Um, the hill just kind of ducks down a little bit, which allows tanks, especially Chinese tanks like this, to have the gun depression um, if they don't have it because you won't be able to shoot if your tank uh, is kind of pointing up in the air. But you can really abuse this location if you play it right. Um, it doesn't, again, always work, but if you do, um, sometimes it can really pay off. I personally like going down the one line better, but if you are feeling more aggressive or you have no support on the one line, then this location right here between these two builders can be quite amazing and pay off and actually if um, heavy tanks push down this way and you have nothing really that can shoot you you can easily tuck your way on the side of this boulder here and kind of shoot down at them and kind of harass them as well which can be kind of fun anyway guys hopefully you found this guide on how to spot on mines useful if you did i'd really appreciate it if you give it a like down below and if you haven't already subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.